J.J. Saldana, a prominent leader in Idaho and throughout the Hispanic Latino community, passed away over the weekend. This evening, loved ones met at Modern Hotel to remember and celebrate the life and impact of J.J. Saldana. Everything that you've heard of J.J. is true. Uh, he moved in a, uh, I would call, a magnanimous way. He gave and he listened and he showed up every single time. Old colleagues, friends, and even social media buddies were in attendance. Antonio Hernandez met Saldana back in 2018. After traveling the state together and working on various projects, like most, Saldana's death came as a complete shock. For me, you know, they talk about the, the, the different stages of grief and denial being the first one. I, I fully felt that. I fully felt the, um, the refusal for me to accept that, that that had happened. The cause of Saldana's death has not yet been released, but according to reports from those close to Saldana, he died in his sleep sometime late on the night of September 21st or the morning of September 22nd. He was such a bright light and such a vibrant presence that it hasn't really sunk in that he's gone. But in some way, there's, a, there's comfort in knowing that he has created such a legacy that's going to have intergenerational impact. Saldana's death was sudden, nearly everyone close to him feeling the impact. He always made us feel like we were the star of the show. He always brought out the shine in us. He always encouraged us. He would put basically the spotlight on anybody who was doing something good in Boise or in Idaho and put them on sort of that stage to showcase them. He's somebody whose impact is just, it's going to live on and people are really empowered to think about how we can um, follow in his footsteps, his beautiful footsteps, his great shoes and kind of live, um, live like JJ did. This is one of many celebrations of JJ Saldana's life, and Antonio Hernandez hints at us that JJ had many projects in the works, and that his legacy will continue by working on and completing what was started. In Boise, Jessica Davis, Idaho News 6.